around to slow the spread of the virus. Caitlin, 530, a lot of people, early risers, typically hit the gym first for the start of their workday. This looks totally different, though. Shannon, yeah, that's exactly right. The alarm usually goes off, and this place is usually packed. The 24-hour gym, I mean, bicycles, ellipticals, Stairmasters, empty right now because gyms, fitness centers, movie theaters required to close this morning. Hear from him in the next half hour as this gym and many others no longer open this morning. Live in Manchester, Caitlin Birchall, NBC Connecticut News. Caitlin, thank you. It's 535. Manchester for us this morning. Starting today, again, those restaurants, those uh, gems, bars, they're all going to have to change the way that they do business. And Caitlin, I think you've got one of the most incredible visuals of all of that this morning, 6 a.m. A lot of people typically head to the gym before their work day. That's not the case today. That's exactly right, Shannon. We're seeing locked doors, of course, signs you'll see everywhere. And I'm going to show you. This is the strangest sight to see this morning. This is usually a 24-hour gym yesterday who hope, you know, the kindness of strangers, maybe your takeout order, you leave an extra tip, the little things like that. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear from more locals impacted by so many changes this morning. Live in Manchester, Caitlin Birchall, NBC Connecticut News. All right, Caitlin, thanks so much for that. It's Caitlin Birchall painting the picture for us this morning in Manchester. Starting today, restaurants, bars, uh, gyms are going to be changing the way that they do business. Caitlin, you've got a kind of very stark look this morning on, on how this is affecting all of us. A lot of people start our days off at the gym. What are you seeing there this morning? Hey, good morning, Shania. That's exactly right. I mean, morning routines totally different. No one at this gym. This is usually a 24 hour gym, elliptical, stairmasters, you name it. Uh, can't be open. Can't. It has to be moved. Let me show you the sign here, too. Sign right here, you know, telling people that this is closed because of the governor. In the meantime, many people are trying to get used to a new normal and new routine this morning. Live in Manchester, Caitlin Virgil, NBC Connecticut News. Caitlin, thank you. In the middle of a pandemic. NBC Connecticut's Caitlin Virgil joins us live from Manchester now. Caitlin, these changes go into effect today. What are you seeing out there this morning? Hey, good morning, Shannon and Ted. Yeah, you mentioned social distancing, and that's why I eat out at restaurants. We have to find a new normal in the morning. You know, you have to wake up and work out by yourself, but this is could have a very big impact on employees. Live in Manchester, Caitlin Birchall, NBC Connecticut News. All right, Caitlin, thanks so much for that. There are workout concerns. There is a new normal in Connecticut. Takeout only for restaurants, bars, and gyms closed. NBC Connecticut's Caitlin Birchall is live in West Hartford with all the late breaking details. We've got to get used to this, Caitlin. It's going to be in place for a while. That's exactly right, Kevin. It's become a new normal for, for now anyway, right? So behind me is West Hartford downtown. Usually this would be much more the hustle and bustle of the lunchtime hour, especially during St. Patrick's Day. But this holiday marks the beginning of a lot of changes for Connecticut residents. It's usually very... If you do plan on getting some takeout, absolutely make sure you give the restaurant a ring before you go because some places m might not be open at all. This order now is until through the month of April, but it could be changed, we're told, from the governor's office. Live in West Hartford, Caitlin Birchall, NBC Connecticut News. Kevin. All right, Caitlin, thanks for that.